morning what's up i'm gonna show you guys how i did this makeup look how i did my hair super cute i'm gonna be answering some questions that i got on my instagram a little q a get to know me if you are in the metro atlanta area and you are interested in my lashes go down the description bar to see my friend jada she's doing an amazing job this is her volume set so if you're interested please go down below and make sure you go to her instagram hey guys so as you saw in the intro i'm about to do my makeup do my hair just do a little bit to my hair i'm gonna do my baby ears and um style it a little bit let's actually put some clips in get ready with me to go in my room because <laughs> we're on quarantine and there's nothing to do there's nowhere to go there's no one to see like there's nowhere to clock into we're just in the house house and i'm in the house board board in a motherfucker in the house board and i'm bored in a motherfucker in the house board so i put on my instagram this picture and I asked you guys to ask me some questions, whatever you wanted to ask. So I already did my eyebrows. Also, I figured since we're in quarantine, why not put on some PJs? So that's why I have on this pajama shirt. I don't know where it's from. My mom gave it to me, but it's super cute. So first and foremost, my last video was like a year ago. It wasn't nothing crazy. Like I was just in school and YouTube, like it takes a lot of work. You know, and you have to be motivated to do it. So now that I'm at home, I have more time. I'm not working because I'm not an essential worker. And um, my classes are online now. Hopefully, I won't be saying this again because if you know, you know. Someone said, what's the most interesting thing you can see out of your office or kitchen window? I literally see greenery. Like, there's no, I can't see the street. I can't see my neighbors, like literally greenery it's a big tree a whole bunch of big trees like it's super pretty i will for the camera but it's gonna be too much how did you decide your major i decided my major in high school i was a part of this pathway my pathway was business technology so we had a project where we had to look up our careers or whatever we wanted to be so i know i wanted to be um in the entertainment field i just wasn't sure like where i used to want to be an editor so anyway with the research at the end of the research i discovered uh, public relations like, okay this is something that i can do i can see myself doing this so that's how i decided i literally had my major planned out since i was in like ninth or tenth grade i didn't have a choice but to go to college but I wasn't gonna waste my time like being super interested in college if I didn't know what I was gonna do. Like that's just the kind of person I am. Also, I attend um, Savannah State University for those wondering. Or really, I attend the Crib University because I'm at home, but I attend Savannah State University. Third question: Something that I did this year that I want to do again. Right now, go to work. That's my answer. <laughs> go to freaking work. I want to go back to work. Fourth question: Do you have slash use Tinder? No, I do not have a Tinder. I've never been on Tinder. At least I don't think, I'm not gonna cap. So <laughs> when I was in ninth grade, I signed up for a lot of those sugar baby websites, really because I was bored. I never spoke to nobody on there, like nothing. I literally just signed up for it and I just wanted to see like who was in my area and stuff like that. But I never linked up with nobody, never DM nobody. So if you see a Twitter, not Twitter, a Tinder account and it's a picture of me, it's not me because I don't have a Tinder. And the fifth question, your favorite online stores? I really don't shop online. Like I know a lot of people love to shop online now, but we like going into the stores, trying stuff on. I wanna see all the options. I wanna feel them. I wanna pick out the best one. I like to go in the store, but Shein is my favorite online place, mainly because of their bathing suits. I have some really cute bathing suits that I order from there. Bathing suits are like the main thing that I order online simply because that's something that you're not gonna find like super cute bathing suits in the store. Sixth question, what motivates me? When I think about what I wanna do, how far I am to getting there, the things that I wanna accomplish, like that's kind of what motivates me. I'll be sitting down and I just feel so discouraged. And then I just think like, bro, you wanna travel, you want a nice car, you know, you want all of these things. So you need to get up and do what you gotta do. My 2020 goals, this year, I definitely wanted to start working more. And I did, I did that until, um, the coronavirus or whatever but 
that was definitely one of my goals was to start working more this year whatever i started working two jobs so it was like okay cool i started making enough money i kind of set a goal for myself like i wanted to make x amount every month definitely to be more positive um not only when it comes to me but when it comes to other people when it comes to how i treat other people when it comes to how i deal with situations just overall in general be more positive okay next question i honestly forgot where i was how many siblings do you have i have 13 siblings on my father's side i am the only child on my mom's side so it's just me in the house well me and my cousin but when it comes to my mom it's just me i'm her only kid aspirations in life i want to become um the pr person for some major record label so that's something that i'm working on i always want to be content with myself I always want to be able to look in the mirror and be like, okay, I like the person that I'm looking at. I just want to be happy and rich. All right, next question. Um, what's your favorite place you've traveled to? I'm not going to lie. I'd probably say Jamaica. It'll have to be number one. But I am Jamaican, so I think it's because I felt, like, really at home. So, I don't know. All right, next question. What was it like growing up in a Jamaican family? I can't really say what was it like. Like, it wasn't really different than your regular black household like there was a lot of different expectations like we have things that we have to do that maybe like a lot of americans or black americans can get away with that we can't but um it's very similar to your black household like all the stuff that you guys go through and laugh about we have the same kind of stories too it's just like with a different accent okay the next question says if you could wear one color for the rest of your life what would it be and black if you know me you know i love black when it comes to like what i like to wear or styling my room or anything black bro like it's so clean straight to the point boom like i love wearing black if i could wear one color for the rest of my life it would definitely be black okay so this is pretty much it for the face probably blending everything together a little bit more and then we're gonna go in on the hair back with the completed look i did finish the questions i forgot to tell you guys i finished the questions honestly i'm really crappy when it comes to talking on videos i just like to leave the camera up and just do what i do and you guys watch i'm gonna tell you guys about this hair why i do it this hair is from um virgo hair it is a 13 by 6 brazilian straight i want to say it's straight but i'm not gonna lie when i got it it was kind of wavy i'm gonna put the link um below because i know it's a whole bunch of companies that have this very much similar name like on alley or whatever so this is my second time installing this hair the first time it was brand new second time is now but i have not been going anywhere i've literally just been in the house so second time is pretty much brand new too this hair has really been pretty good actually um it hasn't been tangling up or anything first and foremost like disclaimer when it comes to tangling i know that hair tangles um i don't expect it to not tangle honestly if it doesn't tangle then that's when it's a surprise to me so my biggest thing when it comes to purchasing hair or favoritizing hair is the lace um dimension so i like wearing 13 by 6 so that my part is very very deep I like transparent laces and I like them to be very thin. Those are the three top, top, top things that I look for when it comes to me buying hair. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I purchased this with my own moolah. They didn't even know I was doing this video. I didn't even know I was doing this video when I purchased the hair. I just want to tell you guys about it. Also, I crimped my hair a couple days ago, so I'm just doing it in big sections just so it can be a little bit more uniform. I'm not gonna go really small as if I was when I first first did it. Okay, so I think I want to change Just because I've had this part for a minute, so why not?
okay guys this is it for the completed look i hope you guys like it i didn't go through my part just because i'm not gonna do the most i'm literally just going in my room and in a couple of hours i'm gonna wipe all this off anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching until the end you have no idea how much this really means to me if you enjoy watching this video go down below and make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy watching this video and you want to see more make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything else that i end up posting because i will be posting more this time pinky promise okay if you're interested in Virgo hair make sure you go down below in the description bar because I will be leaving the link to this specific week down there if you're interested in purchasing it thank you so much for watching this and make sure you guys stay safe because this coronavirus is really killing a lot of people I will see you in my next video you don't want to miss it